welcome to my channel. It's your girl Jess Travels. If it's your first time, welcome. My name is Jess. I post videos about my life and travels abroad. If it's not your first time, welcome back. In today's video, I will be telling you three ways that you can send money home. So the three methods I'm giving you are the most popular. The first will be PayPal, then Swapsy, and the bank. So through PayPal, essentially what you're doing is sending money to yourself. You have your Chinese PayPal and your local PayPal. And the good thing about PayPal as well is that you can use it and you can be from pretty much any country that has a PayPal account. Like when I lived in Thailand, I would send myself money from my Thai PayPal to my American PayPal. Um, one con about PayPal is they do have higher exchange rates than the bank in Swapsi. So the exchange rate I've noticed is about four and a half percent. Um, that's how much I got charged the last time I sent money home and that was about two months ago. So it can be anywhere from four to four and a half. So if you're sending a thousand dollars home, essentially you'll get a fee of about $45. The biggest con about PayPal in China is making a Chinese PayPal. It can be a bit tricky and difficult and it could take you more than a day. I made my PayPal account when I first got to China and it took me about two days. Because you do have to send a picture of yourself, picture of your passport, information of your bank account. So you do have to go to the bank and get like a slip that shows your your bank number, um, get the SWIFT code of your bank as well. You do need that for PayPal. And then yeah, just send money to yourself. Once you make a PayPal, you go to send and request and you insert the email of the person you'd like to send money to. So from my Chinese PayPal, I am going to send money and I need to put the currency. So if I want to send 100 US dollars, I'll just type in 100 and choose the currency as US dollars. Hit continue. And then at the bottom, it'll show me how much I'm actually sending in RMB for 100 US dollars. And it'll give me the current conversion rate. So the next option is Swapsy. So Swapsy is a website. You make an account. All you really need is an email address, a PayPal or a Zelle account. And what you're doing is you're sending money to a local, usually it's a local person through WeChat or Alipay. And then once they confirm that they've received the money, they send it to you through PayPal or Zelle. It does take about one to three business days to have the money in your bank account. I've had it in one day, I've had it in two days. So it really just depends how fast the person you sent the money to confirm they've received it and then sends it over to you. Once you create an account with Swapsy, this is what your profile would look like. So you can send and receive money in US dollars or Chinese coin. Then you would enter the amount and update it. Once you scroll down, you'll be able to see the matches that you can choose from. You can only send money through Alipay or WeChat if you're sending Chinese RMB and receiving US dollars. You can send an exact amount. But as you can see here, there's a couple of options. So choose the one that's closer to the amount you'd like to send. And if you need to send more money, you just send another swap after this one's finished. On the left, you can see your history, your swap credits, which is what you'll need to purchase in order to pay for the fee. So as you can see, if you pay $9.90, you get a thousand credits. And yeah, you need those credits to send money. It's also an invitation link, so if you invite people to Swapsy, you will get credits, swap credits. So I will go ahead and leave my swap credit link down below so you can get some credits whenever you sign up. And I know it sounds a bit weird, like you're sending someone money and you're expecting them to send it to you. It's a very like safe app and you know, if you notice they haven't confirmed the money being received, you can always message them. And also when you receive the money, you have to go back into the app and let them know that you're confirming that you received this exact amount in your account. So the last choice to talk about today is through the bank. I have friends that do go to the bank every month or go to the bank before they leave China and just send all of their savings home. I've learned that the bank has great um, exchange rates. So what are the cons about the bank? Well, one thing is you would have to go into the bank every month to send money home. Also, you need to collect different documents before you can do this transfer at the bank. Some of the things you'll need is your passport, your work contract, your tax paper, and you have to go to these different offices, right, to collect these documents. I've heard horror stories about going to the tax office. You know, they're only open certain hours. They have a two hour lunch break in the middle of the day, like most places in China. So 
So if you're working like an eight to four, eight to five, you might have to go after work, see if they're still open or take a day off to get those documents. But once you've collected these documents, you just take them with you every month and then it'll be just a smoother process but it's just a bit tedious at the beginning to collect everything. Once you go to the bank, you do have to fill out forms for the transfer. And if the spelling is incorrect or something's incorrect, you have to do it again. So you can expect to spend a day at the bank, especially if you're not there with a local, um, to fill out the, the wire transfer paperwork. So which choice is the best way to send money home? It's really up to you. PayPal is a great choice. It's quick and easy to send money home once you have both bank accounts set up and the PayPal accounts, but it does charge the highest fees. Swapsy, you can send money home and have it within one to three business days, but it's a toss up whenever there's a match available. The bank is also a great choice. It may take some time for you to collect all your documents and do the paperwork, but once you have that, you're set. You just go whenever you want to send money home and it is usually the best um, exchange rate option available. And that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions about sending money home, leave a comment down below, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you on the next one.